Hey everybody, I'm Sean Groves and this is the Dominican Republic. It's a vacationer's paradise. No wonder thousands of us flock here each year to tan on the resort speckled beaches, take a swim in the blue sea behind me. But this is not the Dominican Republic that I've come to show you. This is the community I want to show you. The sewer system is basically, use the restroom in your house, runs out into the street and the rain carries it off and that's why we keep getting those odors every once in a while. This is not exactly the ideal playground for children. This is not what you would want in your front yard. It's not what I would want in my front yard. This is the neighborhood. It smells awful. And this is where compassion is doing the work of Jesus Christ. Reaching in to the homes and the communities of the lowest and the least. We're bringing them the hope of Jesus Christ. We're going to go into this house? Okay. I'm inside a typical home here in Santo Domingo um, near the river. This is how families live. There are eight children and a mom and a dad who sleep in this room right here. This is the bedroom. It's about, I don't know, 10 to 12 feet uh, wide and 8 to 10 feet long there. And, um, this is home. This is the way they live every day. And this beautiful girl right here is where she sleeps. Okay, this is Daniel. He's a sponsored child through Compassion International. And this is his neighborhood. He lives down here by the river. And he's going to take us on a tour of his house. This is where we're headed right now to see where Daniel and his two sisters and his brother live. I'm getting the feeling it's a little bit dangerous the farther we go toward Daniel's house. There, our guards will go forward several feet and then signal that it's okay for the rest of us to come forward, like they're sort of scoping it out for us. Daniel is an 11-year-old that is sponsored through Compassion International. This is Daniel's grandmother, Mercedes, and she cares for Daniel when his mother is not able to. Today, Daniel's mother is out uh, looking for work, any kind of work that she can find. His father is in prison at the moment, something somehow related to drugs. We're not sure. Um, but Daniel, uh, we've been told, uh, gets an awful lot of help through Compassion International and his sponsor. Um, he's able to have food and education. His grandmother says her dream for Daniel is that he would grow up to be a man who's a professional. And Compassion International and one sponsor give him the hope that he needs. In 1 John, it says that if we see someone in need and we have material possessions, we can meet their need. And we don't do it, and we don't really love God. We don't really love God if we don't love the children of the world like Daniel. So I'm asking you, I'm begging you, go to the compassion table right now and love God by loving children like Daniel. There are hundreds of them waiting to be loved by you.